Welcome to the video on setting up your Cron script. Now just before we get there, I also forgot to show you the message that was sent uh, once we actually clicked on the link to verify in the email. So let's just open this uh, window just a little bit wider. So there's the one for the confirmation and here's the mobile autoresponder with Hi Ron new update available. So when we click in there, you see this is the top ad spot. You'll see this is where the main message is that we set up and here's the bottom uh, message in here and then there's the disclaimer that's automatically set and once again we give them all the details of what we have uh, on record, uh, material connection disclosure, how to cancel and here's something else that I've built into our autoresponder if they want to change their details so they can actually uh, click on this link and it'll take them to the website where they can actually change their email and their mobile phone number should they wish to. So if I wanted to change my mobile number to 3O I can just click on change email when it changes everything. You've successfully updated your email address and changed the phone number so uh, because my phone number is actually 29 I don't know who 3O is <laughs> I will change that back and of course every time you click on the change it you know, confirms what it sees up here. Okay so now let's go back to uh, setting up or getting the email cron script. So as soon as you click this link uh, it automatically creates the uh, mobile AR uh, messages.php script so all you need to do is just copy and paste this whole line uh, into the uh, uh, cron tabs in your cPanel. So before we go into there, let's go back and create the cron script for the mobile. So that's done. And then what we'll do here is we'll just copy that and we'll open up a, a notepad. Um, let's open up a new one. And small enough to fit the window and, that will do. and so we can paste that in there for so that's for one of them now let's go back and get the cron script for the email one and we'll just copy and paste that put that into a notepad. Now you would w normally want to uh, log into your cPanel. I'm with Site 5 so it has a slightly different um, interface for their uh, dashboard. So I'm just going to be scrolling right down to where it says uh, software and services. And I'm going to scroll over. Uh, okay so maybe it's advanced. There it is. Cron Jobs. And we're just going to click on cron job now cpanel um, you can actually set it up a lot quicker than with site 5 so mine's slightly different uh, not hugely but you know it is a little bit different so what we do is we actually copy and paste the command into there and we're going to select whether we want this to be uh, set up every day every week every month every year or whatever so I'm going to set this up to be for every day um, you can actually select more uh, advanced options but for this purpose you can just set it up for every day it makes it nice and easy and then uh, disable the notification and add new cron job so there you are it's now set so that's the mobile one. So now we go back into our section here and we go and get the M O no is it M O or A R we had there. Oh so that's the AR so we need this one. And we're just gonna do the same thing. Put it into the command line, select every day and add new cron. So now your cron jobs are absolutely are set and if you want to change them for morning or evening or whatever you want to do then you can actually go into 
each one of these and uh, change it manually so this shows that it's uh, going out at the top of the hour at midnight on every day so if you wanted it to go out um, so it was actually in their mailbox after all the other junk that gets in between uh, midnight and say seven o'clock in the morning then you can just uh, select the seven and change the settings and if it's your mobile well then you don't want to be waking them up too early in the morning so what we'll do there is we'll go back. Oops, cron jobs. And we'll make sure that so the MO is your mobile and this is your ordinary one. So with the mobile, we don't want to be waking them up at midnight with a text. So we'll set that for eight o'clock as generally people are awake by then. And there you are, it's all done. So we don't need to do anything more in our cron jobs. It's all set. So the next video we're going to be coming back and we're going to be having a look at the subscribers because um, we've already subscribed or I've already subscribed and then we're, we'll look at uh, what the band blocked is. Although uh, if you refer to the very first video it's in there and then we'll have a look, quick look at the broadcast messages and the rest of these I already uh, covered in the first video so we don't need to go over those again. So next video we'll just have a quick look at the subscribers and the band and the one after that will be all about the broadcast messages. Talk to you soon.